gonna introduce the history of particle accelerator. A particle accelerator is the equipment that accelerates charged particle to a really high speed. Um, the first particle accelerator is cyclotron, which was built by Professor Ernest Lawrence in University of California, Berkeley in 1939. The cyclotron is basically made by two D-shaped plates, which uh, with a small gap between them. There is electrical potential difference between the two plates, which transfers the electric energy of the field into connected energy of the particle. The constant magnetic field exists in the plate make the particle do circular motion. When particle is ejected from the plate, it will have a high speed uh, of it. By calculation, we will know that the bigger radius of the cyclotron will result in a higher speed of the particle. Therefore, we want to increase the size of the cyclotron. The first cyclotron is only 9 inches, while the last one is uh, 93 inches. inches. The size was dramatically increased. Um, so after Lawrence built the first cyclotron in Brookhaven National Laboratory. The first large proton cyclotron was built. It could accelerate proton to about 3 gigavolt. The proton cyclotron is square shaped with acceleration, uh, injection, and ejection gap. At the same time, Bergtron at University of California, Berkeley was created and designed to accelerate proton to generate anti-proton. A few years later, again in Brookhaven National Laboratory, the alternating gradient synchrotron was created. This, and then after that, the CERN, first European particle accelerator, was also built at that time. Later on, the Stanford linear accelerator became optional in 1966. It can accelerate electron to 30 gigavolt in a 3 kilometer long wave gap buried in a tunnel and powered by hundreds of large uh, clustrons. The last one I'm going to talk about is the famous Fermi lab tavertron with, with a 64 kilometer path length. Uh, it used as a particle uh, is as a proton antiproton collider. Uh, however, this project was shut down on September 30, 2011, due to the baggage cut. From the history of development particle accelerator, we can see human techniques uh, develop dramatically year after year, owing to the contribution of all these scientists. Here, I'm going to say thank you to all of them.